I'm going to show you guys how to duplicate anything and set all of your pals to max level super easily in Power World. I'm going to show you guys how to get unlimited dog coins, unlimited gold, unlimited any item, and even how to catch tower bosses in this vid. Alright, you guys have been asking for a tutorial on how I get so many dog coins, how I get so many spears, how I duplicate everything, how I get my pals to the max level, and let me show you guys here. Now, a couple warnings, this video is not going to be for everybody. This is just for people who like don't really want to play legit or have a separate world for cheating or duplicating and all that kind of stuff because I play mostly legit on this world. I have this whole base, which is legit. I have a mining base, a berry base, and everything but sometimes i use these cheats to max out my pals for a certain video or to buy dog coins for a certain video like to get 9999 dog coins things like that so if you guys don't like cheating or you don't want to cheat this is probably not the video for you and not the method for you and there's nothing wrong with that i'm just letting you guys know you don't have to do it obviously and this is only working for single player your own worlds it doesn't work on multiplayer it doesn't ruin anybody else's experience so this is only for you if you want to continue one other thing is this probably works on Xbox somehow, like some way you can probably get it onto Xbox. I am not entirely sure, but there is probably some way. So if you're on Xbox and you want to try this, you probably have to do an extra research project to learn how to do that. I haven't been on my Xbox in years, so I don't really know how to do that, but I'm going to show you guys how I do it super easily on PC. Now, I'm not sponsored by this website or anything, but what we are going to do is go to wemod.com. Once you go to wemod.com and download it, it will ask you which game you want to use their cheats on. And obviously we're going to press Power World. And then once you download that and go through with that, you're going to get this mod menu right here. Now we're going to go through every single one of these mods here and show what this has. Now guys, be careful when doing this. I can vouch for this site. I'm not sponsored, like I said, or anything. I don't know who owns the site or who does this, but they have been making mods for a bunch of different sites and bunch of different games for years. They're trustworthy for sure, but I wouldn't download anything like this from any other kind of sites. Like I had to do a lot of research looking at this site to make sure they're legit before I downloaded them. I wouldn't download any mods from anywhere else because a lot of the time it's spam and like malware and probably not things you want on your computer. But now that we're done with that, if you guys set up your account, you get everything downloaded, you're on PC, you have the mod menu now. What you're going to do is open it up. I have it right here. We're going to go ahead and press play. And then it's going to do this little loading thing. It should be pretty quick if you already have the game launched. And then you're going to be able to do any single one of these cheats. Now, again, let me reiterate. It only works on single player. This does not work on multiplayer. If you're looking for cheats to like raid people's bases and ruin other people's time, this is not that. This is for your own personal projects. If you want to max out a pro or uh, a pal, or if you want to see what it's like to have infinite dog coins, this is for stuff like that. Personal worlds, not multiplayer. Now that it says playing and it's ready, we're going to look at a few of these mods. First of all, infinite player health. That's self-explanatory. We have infinite health, infinite pal health. We'll turn that on. Infinite stamina, infinite sadity. I don't really know what that means. I think it's something to do with, uh, with work speed, maybe temperature always normal. There we go. So now that we have all of these on, we should have infinite health, infinite stamina, infinite pal health. You can see we are sprinting right now and our stamina is going nowhere. We can sprint forever. I believe maybe our pals have infinite stamina too. Yeah, okay, now our pals have infinite stamina. Now let's go test out the instant health and instant stamina over here. Now there is some way better cheats on here. I use like dog coin duplicators and stuff like that, but these small ones are also cool. So it actually is still taking away my shield, which is weird. I didn't expect it to do that. But while it may take away our shield, we can just take that out. It's not going to take away any of our health. And our pal is also not going to get hurt. So, oh, look at that. Sometimes it bugs out when you have the duplication on. Just like it happens in some of my videos. And it actually duplicated our hyper spirit 11,000 times. So, we're just going to discard of those. We don't really need 11,000 shields. But as you can see, everything is working. Our pal is not losing any HP. We're not losing any HP. These mods work super duper easily. I didn't even expect them to work this easy. I thought they were going to be really complicated, but boom. 
that is the first section of mods those are pretty self-explanatory those are like the basic easy ones that's not really what we're here for we want to look at some of the cooler ones but it's cool that we can get infinite health infinite stamina it makes flying a lot easier we don't have to worry about that we can sprint forever we can pretty much do whatever we want Next, we can set the stat points, set the technology points, and set the ancient technology points. I actually haven't done this yet, so let's try and set all of them to 30. I believe I have less than 30. We press the little check when we're done, and now let's go see technology. And see, yeah, that one didn't work. I'm not going to lie. I'm pretty sure some of these aren't 100% perfect, but I haven't tried all of them. I've only tried the important ones, so let's see if we can get that to fix. Sometimes you have to like update it or die a few times or something like that. Oh, there we go. Okay, I just tabbed out and changed it to 31, and that actually did work. Some of them take a little bit to update. It doesn't update instantly for, like, some of the, like, weirder ones, like technology points and everything. But those ones work also. I haven't come across one that doesn't work on this mod menu. Pretty much everything does work, but some of them take a little bit of time. Now we start getting into the important stuff, like infinite... And, uh, inventory weight so we can do that we can set our lymph monk effigies which I already have and then this we can sell any amount of items this one is easy oh wait i'm tripping this isn't the sell amount this is the most important one this is how you duplicate everything this is the set amount not sell amount so let's say we want let's see what we have in our inventory we have five precious pelts let's say we want 900 of those what we do is we double click the pelts just like that we go over to the mod menu we do 900 and then we press the check mark now all we have to do is update this item drag it over and look at that 900 precious pelts it is that easy let's do it again for dog coins we double click the dog coins we go over here and then we set it to 900 which is actually going to be a decrease on the amount we have and there we go now of course if we want to like unlimited or whatever we can do 9999 and it brings us up to 10,899. And as you can see, we have no weight. So we have unlimited weight. We have unlimited dog coins. We have unlimited everything. This makes the game pretty boring pretty quickly if you're not using it for like really specific reasons. Like I use it to make videos and everything. So I don't really interfere with any of my legit progress. But if you guys have a legit world or, you know, playing with friends or whatever co-op, I do not recommend using this on your legit world. Like I said, I don't know these people. I'm not sponsored by these people. I don't care if you use this, but a lot of people get mad when I don't show them how I get unlimited dog coins and everything since most of the glitches are banned. However, if you want to use this, uh, I mean, here you guys go. Finally, here you go. I got a lot of comments mad at me, but here you are. Now, let's move on a little bit. We have some of the boring ones like Infinite Sanity and Set Pal Level. Here we go. Let's try the Set Pal Level. I actually haven't tried this one yet. If you hover over the little eyes, it shows you um where like what you can do and instructions and everything and it says whatever pal we have outside the spear will do the do the work so let's get off our jet rig on we don't want to change the level on him since he's already maxed out here we go we have a level 49 catcher so let's go to our mod menu let's make him level 55 and then let's see let's see the, will this one work i haven't used this one before and it kind of feels like this is one of the ones that wouldn't work or is like a little bit harder let's try and make it level 54 sometimes you have to like update it a tiny bit and then press the check mark a few more times and that is when it will work or maybe we have to like drop the pal oh never mind there we go see he's level 54 it just didn't update in our little ui yet all right there we go so he's officially level 54 that one is super easy usually what i do if i want to rank up the pals is i just duplicate these little training manuals and they have a ton of xp let's see what else we have we have the set level set experience set rank those are pretty basic we have infinite weapon durability which obviously is a you know self-explanatory we have the no reload which will probably be pretty cool and then we have all of these cheats down here at the bottom this is massive work speed which helps you work instantly for your pals and yourself no crafting requirements which you can craft everything no building requirements you can build everything these are all pretty self-explanatory i don't really need to explain that to you but let's try out the weapon durability no reload no durability or anything what weapons do we have we have guided missile launchers so is this going to work no because i don't have any ammo for it but let's try the gatling gun 
We're currently being attacked, so let's shoot unlimited ammo at the people attacking us. Why is this barely doing any damage? Okay, there. It's because I wasn't hitting them. I feel like the Gatling gun's kind of weird because it doesn't do anything at a long range. This is like one of the worst weapons at a long range. Let's put on a flamethrower instead. The only problem with this mod menu is that it can't spawn in pals, I don't believe, and they can't spawn in items. So if you're going to want to duplicate, you're going to have to put on like a few of the other mods, like no crafting, and then craft the item you want to duplicate, or you can just get one of the items, like picking up a dog coin, and then duplicating it to 9,000, something along those lines. But this no reload unlimited ammo is probably one of my favorites. It's just super fun to like use the flamethrower on limited amount of times and never have to reload it but we have some other super important cheats down here which are really interesting we can do 100% capture chance and 100% pals are rare and guys this one is really really cool we can pretty much catch whatever we want and it's going to be a shiny so i don't think it uh works if the pals are already spawned in we're going to have to find some new ones yeah there we go we can already hear the noise we got a bunch of shiny bird ashes down here we have a bunch of shiny quiverins and guys this is the best part this doesn't only work for pals on the ground we have 100 percent capture rate for anything and anyone so we can go to the moonflower tower just like it used to be and we can go catch this boss there we go we are inside of here we don't even need to use any fancy pal spear we don't need to damage him or anything we just go up to him it doesn't look like the boss is shiny maybe that's like something the mod man you can't do but we can just sit here and wait a minute Oh, there we go. I forgot to turn this one. And you, everyone can be captured. I thought that was already included in the 100% capture chance, but we have to turn on everyone can be captured. And there we go. Now we can actually catch anybody. We can catch the Blasma Ryu if we want. We can catch Saya and Silene. We can catch anybody and anything. There we go. We just throw the ball at them. That will stop their attacking midair. And boom instantly we have them now the mod menu does say you get stuck inside the tower boss if you do that so you either have to wait until the time is up or you can kill yourself we're not really too interested in that and we have unlimited hp and everything anyways but those are definitely the coolest mods on this menu and then also one other thing i use all the time is when i'm recording i don't like it to be nighttime because it messes with the vid so if you just press enter here you can change these i believe if you just press enter Oh, well, you can't really see because we're inside the tower boss, but it actually changes the time on the Power World world. So if it's nighttime, it'll change it to day, or you can decrease the time too. We have these, which I haven't really used before. We have walking speed and jump height multiplier. I've never used these ever, so I wonder how it works. Are we running faster? Oh, I can't really notice a difference in the sprinting but you can definitely notice the difference with the jumping holy cow it makes you mario i've never used these settings before like i said most of the time i only use the settings to make my videos better but apparently there's some really cool ones in here so again guys before i get like a million dislikes on the vid this is for your own personal use if you want because a lot of people have been asking for this you can't use it on multiplayer you can't ruin other people's worlds so this is only for you make sure if you you guys sub up if you like this kind of stuff i'm upload glitches that you can use without downloading anything i upload guides tips all kinds of things on power world for legit players and non-legit players who want stuff like this this is a pretty cool mod menu but remember guys be careful what you download don't go downloading a bunch of other mod menus for stuff like this don't go downloading the random ad that says power world cheats unlimited dog coins only we mod and if you're going to do this uh, maybe use it on a different world because trust me your regular world is going to get boring if you ruin it with cheats.